So today I'll be testing the whether a stabilization for the monopod will improve the stabilization of a cheap camcorder such as the Flip, um, the Kodak ZI8, or the Sanyo CG10. So right now I'm using the Sanyo CG10 and I just have the digital image stabilization on right now. So I'll do a pan shot to see how stable it is. I'm using this handheld with no monopod and the zoom is pulled out wide to the widest setting. And I'm holding this with one hand. So I'm doing some walking right now. This is Queen Elizabeth Park in Vancouver, Canada. So right now I'm walking slowly, one-handed. Here's some roses. So right now I'll try some zooming in. So right now I'm about halfway zoomed in using the optical zoom. So you can see the shake already in the picture. So it's very shaky. So I'm going to pull back out. You probably have a headache by now, so I'm going to pull back out too wide. Just walk around. On my LCD screen right now, it looks pretty stable, but on the bigger computer, it'll probably look more stuttery. So right now, I have the Sanyo mounted to a monopod, and the monopod is on the ground right now. So as you can see, it looks pretty steady. So I'm just going to do a slow pan, rotating the monopod, not the head itself. And the digital stabilization is still on right now. But from reviews on the internet, it seems that it doesn't really do anything. So right now I'm just rotating the monopod. So it looks pretty steady. Okay, right now I'm just holding it steady. So I'm going to try to do some zooming in. So so right now it's fully zoomed in and it looks much more steady than when I was hand holding it. So right now the tripod is about two thirds extended. So I'm going to try walking around holding the tripod, holding the monopod I mean, to see if holding the monopod attached to the camera is better than just walking around with the camera. So right now I'm zoomed in and I'm rotating the monopod. Okay. So right now I'm going to walk around with the monopod. So right now I'm walking around with the monopod. I'm not sure whether it looks more steady, but we'll know on the computer. I'm walking around the same speed as I was when I was holding the camcorder. So right now, I'm, I'm going to try running with the monopod and see how it looks. OK, 
Okay, so right now it's pretty long, so it's pretty hard to run with. So I'm gonna shorten the monopod a little. Back to the folded in height. So right now I'm in the folded in height, so it's much more easier to carry. And we're zoomed out wide right now to the max. So I'm holding the monopod. The digital stabilization is enabled. Just walking around a bit. Right now I'm walking at a normal pace. So now I'll just do some running. I'm gonna do just start running right now. So far it doesn't look much more stable than using just uh, holding the camera itself, but again it's hard to tell on the LCD screen. So right now I'm going to turn off the camera digital stabilization and see how this changes things. So right now the camera digital stabilization is turned off. so. It's just based on the monopod. Again, the monopod is um, retracted fully. I'm holding it by the monopod's handle. Do some macro shots. This is all handheld using the monopod. So another benefit of these monopods is you can extend it way over the crowd. So I'll demonstrate this feature. So right now it's extended fully. So you can probably see we have a much higher height that we can see from. And this wouldn't be possible if I was hand holding it unless I was super tall. So this will probably give a new perspective to your videos. And I can't even see what's filming right now. So I'll walk around. Here. So I'll test more when we get to a new location. So right now